What did Jesus do on the second day of creation? God said, let there be something to divide the water in two. So God made the air and placed some of the water above the air and some below it. God named the air sky. Evening passed and morning came. This was the second day. He takes the air and placed some of the water where? Above and some below. And God named the air sky. So literally, if you understand this, remember when I did the video talking about what is a God? What is a God? A God is a class, a office, a rank, but it's also a being in that office who has complete mastery, dominion, and rulership over creation, right? This is what's so amazing. What God did, he literally takes the whole earth, what Jesus does, because we know Jesus is the one who is creating. Here it is. The whole earth is being filled, is filled with water. And what he literally does, he takes some of the water and he creates atmosphere. He creates the sky and the rest of the water he puts, um, he leaves on the earth. Do you have any idea how much control over an element you would have to have in order to take water and to literally take the components of that water to create atmosphere, to create the atmosphere? That's literally what it means. He created the sky. He created the atmosphere of the earth. What did Jesus reveal of himself? He revealed that he is all powerful. That is what he revealed. He revealed that he is all powerful. That he, and because he is all powerful, he can take a situation, he can look at something and say, I'm going to make something beautiful out of this. Come on, somebody. I'm going to take something that looks impossible, that looks overwhelming, that looks like there's no way that this is going to work. There's no way that this is going to happen. And I'm going to make it into a masterpiece. I'm going to turn it into something beautiful, into something glorious. He took the earth that was filled to even the it was filled to the brim with water. But he doesn't say, all right, I'm just going to reduce the water. He says, I'm going to take from this disaster. I'm going to take the water in this situation and I'm going to create the sky and the atmosphere and I'm still going to leave some water on the earth. Do you understand how powerful you would have to be in order to do that? You would have to have complete mastery, control and understanding of that element in order to take the water from the earth and make earth, sky, and atmosphere.